Aspen, Brittany, Mayhew on the Lighter Style podcast. Unbelievable. We've been trying to get it for about five <laughs> Hi, years. Hi, everyone. Hope everyone's having a good December so far. Going through all the hustle and bustle. I am always, You're busy. always busy. I don't know if I stop. I actually had an eye twitch today because I actually stopped for a little bit. <laughs> I guess I'm thinking a lot. Lots of projects ahead. Final project's falling out, too, so wrapping up a good life. You're doing a lot. Yes. A lot. Kind of that by modeling school that I have, uh, and the movie I just wrapped up, and future plans to have an agency come to Southern Colorado, travel abroad this year, so everything's going nuts. I guess when it happens, it happens. It's about the movie. Oh, The Real Michigan. Goodness. There are two years to wrap. The Real Michigan. Yeah, The Real Michigan. It took two years. We finally wrapped in November. I, I believe, I mean, I'm usually interested in movies like this, particularly a metaphysical murder mystery, but based in 1998, since I kind of grew up in the 90s, it just hit home. It's, a, it's definitely something if you like politics or not politics, religion, no religion, it kind of pokes at everything. So it's one of those movies that is a good storyline. It's full feature, so you're not going to get bored. You know, lots of entertainment. Maybe a little bit of blood, if you like blood. <laughs> if you like real, it's the real Michigan, so. Fake. But yeah, I, I still, it was real enough to, it was interesting. Let's just say one of the days on set, I did not join, because... I mean, I like it, but it was a little, it was a little creepy. I'm not going to lie. So uh, sometimes even if you know it's fake, your mind doesn't know it's fake. Like you still get kind of like, yeah, a little woozy. It makes sense. So there's some parts of this movie that might make a couple people cringe, but yeah. it's real. It's about real subjects and it's also metaphysical. So eh, yeah, it's, it's going to open eyes. That's for sure. It'll keep you in your seats the whole time. Wow. Good. 
Does your no, have but it's think. You guys ever play with Gak when you're a child? Oh, Anybody ever really? like play with that weird uh, substance? I don't know. It smelled like Gak, and it kind of kind of an interesting smell to you. <laughs> yeah. He like kind of brought me back to the '90s for sure. Yeah. '80s baby. So you have big projects for yourself wow. going on, don't you? These days, oh, I man. always see you busy too. So. Yeah, I've been doing this podcast. And it's pretty sweet. Oh, it's pretty sweet that you had me on here. Because I get to meet all kinds of new people. Yeah, it's a pleasure coming. Well, I'm glad you could hang out because we've been, I've been following your career. Yeah, probably for a while. I've been following you for a long time. Yeah, like, I mean, gosh, at least over five, six years. Yeah, a number yeah. of years. And it's, um, it's always fun to, like, watch people grow, too, because even though you haven't seen people in person, um, I learned a lot from those who are in in that industry, just by them posting, just by them talking about it, their experiences. I, I love the social media. So this is my first podcast, though. I'd have to admit that I'm a little behind. But this is my fir- first podcast, so cheers to that. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so Yay. happy that I could be your first. Here, cheers to first. My hot cocoa amazing. here, you know? You're, amazing. I, I like your drink better, though. That's, a, that's an adult beverage there. Yeah. Maybe I'll have to put some Baileys in there. Some. That is, yeah. <laughs> yep. You ever make it to Salida? Yeah, I'm on Salida. That's what I've been asking. You still up there? You ever I come do. Down? I I enjoy the drive. Yeah, I, a lot of people yeah. don't like that Highway 50. I I absolutely love the drive. I like yeah. to go out there and sh- there's um there's this good pizza place that I like to try downtown. I don't know the name of it, but they're pretty delicious. Uh, it, no, I know it has like an outdoor courtyard. It's Vecina? kind of close to the, the bakery that has a lot of um, honey. There's a there's a honey and soap shop across the street. So I don't remember the name of it, but it's absolutely delicious. And I think they do gluten-free because I'm uh, one of those glutards that can't have and partake in the awesome wheat. I don't understand it. I don't like it, but I have to accept it. Oh, it might be yeah. moonlight. Moonlight. You can it smell from a block. Pizza. They have good pizza. I mean, you can put whatever you want on their pizzas. It's awesome. Get endorsed by them talking about their pizza tonight. Well, come on, can I would love that. I would love to catch up. Down next time. We'll yeah, I would love to catch up. I finally actually have some time off after That'd after be- December gets that wrapped in January. I'll I get to go back to kind of my time. You know, I trained my model, get a month off, so I get some time to actually go maybe eat or go have a cocktail or just go stroll around, go just chill. I'm waiting for that time. It's been nice. I've been going hard for like two years. So yeah, I'm interested in knowing what it's like to just be lazy for a couple of days or be well, lazy for a couple of weeks and sit in PJs. <laughs> there, there's no better teacher than Dr. Mello. Be real. Yeah. To teach you how to be lazy. You can come be lazy I like to with paint me too. We'll, like I've been you know, thinking, I started one of my paintings the other night that I just sat down and started sketching. Cause I, oh yeah, chill. You got to do something. Even when you're mind, I don't know if you're like this, but I operate, I'm kind of OE. So it's kind of close to, it's not ADHD, it's whatever they, OE, overexcitability. So you tend to just not stop. So you have to force yourself to stop, but you have to force yourself to stop by doing something else, which makes not a lot of sense, but it works for me. So if I want to calm down, if I get too busy, pick up a canvas, start painting. Sometimes I'll write some lyrics. So it sounds like I'm always busy, but I'm able to redirect my mind to something else. Just to the art, just to get calm. Not into watching a lot of movies, which makes no sense because I like to act. But I, I'm a documentary person. I mean, I can sit there and watch Ancient Aliens for about four hours straight and binge watch weird stuff like that. <laughs> but to get me to sit down and watch uh, anything like Yellowstone, I didn't get into that. So I, I just, my mind's too busy that I can't do those things. I like nonsense behind documentaries. Werner Herzog documentary. Yeah, I love documentaries. That's my jam. I like that nerd stuff. You got to give me that nerd stuff. I watched a good documentary on Frank uh, uh, from Vogue. Yes. I didn't really know much about the British Vogue, and I watched the documentary on Frank. It was kind of sad, but it was really eye-opening. It kind of got me into watching more documentaries because you learn more, you know. What's that? Learn point of views, perspective. Yeah, Is so she magazine? was the one who did Italian Vogue. She's a big... Big, big, but um, it talks about her life and how she actually ended up alone. You know, she never found her person. She's always too busy. She's always, like, doing too much. So it's something good to watch, especially if you're, like, in the industry like you and I, where we don't really stop. And kind of, we, uh, you would see, 
I'm actually single, been single for a really long time. So you, it kind of shows that like when you, um, been single. about three years. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. About, we're, we're you know, it doesn't tight. make a lot of sense, but it just shows like how she had never found her person because you're always too busy. Like, a lot of people don't like when you're goal oriented, you don't slow down. You constantly have a new project. You constantly have new goals. So it kind of opened my eyes and perspective that maybe sometimes I'm going too hard and kind of like become, you know, you don't want to end up being in your 60s, 70s, never finding your person, but you got everything. You, know, you you have your name, you have your fame, you have your money, but you'd never really found that person. So it kind of opened your eyes and perspective. So good documentaries like that could be a different eye, a different perspective of like, oh, wow, I didn't see myself that way. But then you kind of go outside of yourself and be like, wow, vicariously, I'm the same person as you are. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it shows you how hard it is to be a model and work in that industry. And you definitely are working. Yeah, and you constantly are doing that. Like constantly sure. weight, watching your weights, like gaining weight for film, losing weight, go on the runways constantly. Your skin, especially two years, your skin can get messed up. So there's a lot of stress, a lot of pressure, but I, I enjoyed it. I mean, I think I cried maybe twice. Yeah, you know, I, like, I messed up on my set once, and I kind of bombed one yeah. of these day. I I bombed one of day on set, and I mean, it's it's bad when you bomb it, you know, because the whole production's all like, "Dang, man, you really, you kind of sucks today." And you're like, "Oh yeah, about that." So you kind of it kind of opens eyes. Like, don't get too busy. Yeah. You'll you'll lose track of your life. That's exactly like it is being a musician. Oh, I love yeah. music, though. You're on stage, and your friends are going to let you know. Oh, your friends will let you know. You yeah, F up. The They're like, way. you suck tonight. You're like, wow, bro. You have a bad show. <laughs> Thanks for giving it to me. I suck tonight. Cool. I mean, in the, in the music industry, do they say the same thing, like break a leg? Like, they always tell you break a leg, too, when you're on the stage with music, or is that just an acting thing? I never really understood oh, that. They say, they say, in, they say break a string. Break a string. Oh, that's even more serious, too. Yeah. Has that ever happened? Yeah. So I break, like, I break strings every single time. I break multiple strings, and I'll just keep playing. And, uh, I mean, I've never played the guitar. I was kind of a pansy. I could never get over the fact of, like, the calluses on my fingertips. You know, when you're, I didn't like that. I was like, oh, if I could just get over mm -hmm. the calluses, that'd be so great. Right. But th you always have calluses, too. You yeah. just have a callus <laughs> on your soul. Yeah. You ever drop the pick inside yeah. your guitar? Oh, I don't do that anymore. But I drop the pick, and then I always have another one. Or I you got to get you a cool, like, a uh, necklace or something to put behind your ear when you're playing. If something messes up, you just go pop. Yeah. Another one. Nothing can stop you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have a little... I have. I have a pick company that I get 100 picks from, oh, so I yeah. just stuff them in there. Do you ever get fancy and throw them on out. stage? Because I was that girl that would go to the, yeah. you know, the concerts or somebody playing, and I'd just stand up front just hoping for a, a guitar pick or a drumstick. I'd be, like, sitting there, like, waiting. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, yeah, that's part of the... You uh, have to. You I mean, that's part. That's what you got to do. You, you got to sign T-shirts. Maybe, if you're lucky, you might sign some boobs. You never know. Like, you got to... You, you gotta have. You gotta be ready. You gotta be autographed ready. Well, if you if you come to Salida, I will give you a pick I, and I'll, I'll catch throw it. it at you if you do. If you do that, but you have to play something for me. You know, I, I'm. I have yet to have somebody. Okay. I mean, I hear originals, but I've been deal. challenging musicians a lot lately because I, I like this old song, "God of Wine." You know, Third Eye Blind. For some odd reason, I love it. I love that wine. song. I've been okay. like begging oh. a musician to sing that. That's cause cool they're like, one. what is God of Wine? I'm like, who are you? What do you mean you don't know like God of Wine? It's Third Eye Blind, bud. Like, if you ever do that one, I'll be right there. I'll catch it. I'll, I might even ask you to sign it. Okay. I'll, it's a, it's a I'll good one. It's, um, it's kind of sad, but oh, it's, it's got, it was a good melody. I think I was 13 or 12 when they came out with that CD. I was kind of a young one when they came out, but I, I had like the deepest crushes on that whole band. So it was just like that. I, oh, I mean, yeah, good some band. of their music was like, eh. No, I yeah, it's pretty this. simple. I feel like you would like it. It's the best cuckoo. I have to like lick my lips on that one. That was good cocoa. Yeah. 
Uh, I'll give Dev yeah, play. Yeah, good. It. You got a deal. That's fine with me. Okay, and... We'll have to come up I in January. Yeah, I mean, I have some time, in. like, right before Christmas to come around, yeah. or, like, right after January. Like I said, I have to take a month off. I've been forced... I've been going too hard, so I'm going to take a month off of... No yeah. work, if I can actually do that. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Well, start before Christmas, and then we'll do, like, one day, and then come January. When I'm like, yeah. I'm down thing. for that. For Super you. down. So, any, like, crazy yeah. projects you have, though, this year? Like, you... You, I was, you got any open mics, the weddings, or anything you're doing this year? No. No, we don't have any shows yet, and we're kind of working on a space to that's practice the right part. now. It's all it's up hard to, That's the hard part to find, to practice, especially yeah. if some people don't like the noise. You have to find a soundproof room, all that jazz. Right, we're trying to make the underground scene, you know, oh, from yeah. the ground up like you did. Gosh, I'm we're still trying. I mean, I'm at year four, and I still, I, I still feel like I have about a year left. About a year left. They say five years to be able to do anything, and I thought they were joking. And here I am, almost at five years. I'm like, oh, you, you're not lying. All right, it takes a minute. It's hard to grow it, but you will. Just, I'm stubborn. I'm like you. We don't, we don't give up very easily. It's, it's kind of a bad thing sometimes when you're stubborn, but you'll get things. Uh, you'll, you'll get it done. That's what I. You just keep pushing, get it done. Come down to Fremont County area. They have a lot of music. They have First Fridays, yeah. and they like to pay bands down here. That's a hard time. It's like getting people to pay you. For some odd reason, the arts, they're like, oh, I need a model. You want a model for me? And I'm like, yeah. well, that's yeah. great. I like to be paid. Musicians like to be paid. Photographers like to be paid. Right. Yeah, people like to be paid. Yeah, that's pretty much how you make a yeah. living as a professional. Yeah, people... To, yeah, I've been talking about that for a while. I've, yeah, I'm in the union, the musicians union. How is that? So I really try to live. Is that it hard? Can you? Th it's great, you know. Mm -hmm. You get a contract. No, it's just. I think it costs like a hundred dollars a year. You get a contract, and they will pay your contract if the signatory drops out. They'll pay for no way contract. And then they'll take them to court. Because, yeah, like so many times that happens and musicians, mm -hmm. they can't do anything about it. So if you have the union behind you, then they'll not only pay you, but then they'll... See, I was thinking of joining SAG. I'm still not SAG. I'm non-union. I don't have a manager. I, I've built everything on my own. You know, I and that's the thing. It's just like, wow, I come this far, but do I want a manager? Do I want an agency? Um, that's why... I, I'm actually in the works of having my own agency and I was thinking of going for talent as well, just to allow a freelancing agency, allow, allow talent to still be freelancers and still be, have at least like a manager and be a real agency, but allow them to be themselves. Cause I don't know much about these unions, but they're kind of strict. You know, I know if I get any, um, this last movie I did, it wasn't SAG. So I know if I get three or more SAG, I'm going to have to become a union. So I'm, l I'm researching. Yep. I like rules, but I like to break them too. Yeah, SAG is good though. <laughs> I'm one of those people that have been 65 miles an hour. I'm like, well, we'll go like, you know, 72. <laughs> You're yeah. like, I, I like rules. They're good. So it takes you about 30 minutes to get to Salida. Yeah, well, I don't know. I'm still yeah. having to figure out Salida. Rules are meant to be bent. The Salida drive. Oh, let's talk about that. So on the way to Highway 50 up to Salida one upon yonder, there's this deer that just decided to be like, bro, yeah. it's 4 p.m. How would you like to hit me? And I had to like swerve pretty hard. So I don't go fast on that road anymore. I didn't hit it, thank goodness, because I didn't want to kill the deer. And also I didn't want to hurt my car. But dang, I don't know. I don't play on that road anymore. Those deer right. just like to commit suicide. I don't know what it is about them. They're just having a bad time alive. I they're, they're just over the highway. They, they they wait for the cars. They're just like, oh, there's a car. I'm going to jump right now. I'm going to leap leap of faith into death. So I, I tend yeah. to behave myself on Highway 50. That is true. you got to be yeah, careful. Yeah, I-25, though, 
I-25, you, you can call me fast and the period. Yeah, I-25, that, that's where the games start. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, when you got multiple lanes to go cause chaos. And they have that sign when you're going to... Duh. Yeah. They have that sign that says, Oh, you yeah? Check by radar, yeah. by aircraft, mm -hmm. when you're going to the springs, right? Oh, well, it like, works. What is that about? It does work. That's cool. 2008, I got clocked going 100 and stick on 115 around 9 a.m. I was late for a dentist appointment. Just got out of the Air Force. I was hauling ass. I shouldn't have been going that fast, but wow. I don't know. I was in my 20s. I was young and dumb. So I'm hauling ass. 9 a.m. Come wow. back around 3 o'clock. I'm on 115. Going to speed limit. Get pulled over by the state patrol. I I got clocked by that aircraft. It, they they do exist. For the longest time, I thought it was just wow. like a scare trap. You know, like, ooh, boogity boogie, watch out. She's going to get, like, pulled over. No, they're real. They, they, I don't know yeah. how. I, I honestly, I am still think about it every day. I don't know how that happened, but they found me. They found me, 3 o'clock. And they're like, you know how fast you're going around 9 a.m.? And my face turned completely white. Huge ticket. I'm talking, I could have got lost in my life. And it was a, the guy was going to give me an eight-point ticket, reckless driving. I, I guess that's super reckless. I mean, apparently over 100 miles an hour. But I, they gave me a four-point ticket, a nice little $700 fine, and sent me on my way. I could tell you what, that thing is real. It is not, that, that, you know how people don't believe in Santa? We got Santa coming. Y'all better be careful. Santa is coming, you know? <laughs> Y'all better be careful. That <laughs> aircraft guy, it, it, yeah. just because you can't okay, see it doesn't yeah, mean well. it doesn't exist. Eh? That thing is real. <laughs> like, this is funny. Okay, well. Yeah, I'm telling you, you, like, first, you want to play. They want to say F around and find out. Well, eh, I found out. It was, it was funny, though. I mean, I don't regret. No regret. I don't have any regrets when it comes to speeding tickets. Usually they're earned. <laughs> Usually it's having fun. Yeah, I got It's been I a few years for, for me. I'm surprised because mm -hmm. I have to drive on all the highways all over Colorado all the time or going out to Phoenix. And I've been, I behave now. I'm kind of a chicken. Like the cops may remind me of sharks. Yeah, they remind me we of sharks, though. Lesson. You ever get in the deep water and you think the sharks are always lurking? Well, as soon as I get into the highways or roads, I always feel like there's like state patrolmen over here. You know, as soon as I feel like being an honorary, they're like right there reminding me, like, you can't do that. You can't do that. Land shark, yeah. Land yeah. shark. And they, they get you. But are you watching? If I. Say when I find out when this yep. uh, premiere is, would you like to come? Would you like to know where it is? The invite or go check it out. I see that you have a lot of mutual friends in the industry. Please, yeah, that you probably it. know quite a bit of the people I worked with this year. Yep. A nice little reunion if you would like to like. Okay. Um, there's a lo lot of young, kind of like extras, but we have Blaze. He's um, 16 years old. He played young. He was like one of the big characters. We have Michael Lee. He is. The He's one of the serial killers. You know, a couple of the other actors. I'm not really familiar with a lot of their names, you know, because I don't only saw them a little bit. But Blaze is the main actor. Like, he's a young, young and up and coming. He's got his own following, lots of following, doing a lot of projects, working his own, on his own film right now. So kind of little child prodigies, little 16-year-old genius child. But you got to see Michael Lee. I learned a lot from Michael Lee. Cool. I don't know if you know him very well. He's a pretty good actor. He's working on the film himself right now. He's wrapping it up. But he did really good as the serial killer in this movie. Like, he made it really believable. It's kind of fun to work with him. I, I didn't laugh too much. It was kind of weird to see somebody uh, super serious in person, covered in blood without freaking out. You know? So he, he was really good. So Michael Lee's one. Yeah. We have quite a bit, actually. I can't think of it like, all off, off of my top of my head. Kyler Craddock, I don't know if you know him. He's an up-and-coming artist that's a musician. Kevin Archuleta is his uh, real name. So he is in the movie as an extra, one of the uh, one of the bikers. So there's quite a bit. Yeah, and Anna cool. and Faya. You know Faya? That's awesome. Do you know Faya? She's a... Uh, mm-hmm. Faya? She, um, she's no. in it, too. She plays one of the characters. Matrix, like a really badass oil tycoon lady. I love her character. Very, uh, very 90s, big hair. Right. You know, those old ski suits. 
They used to wear. Sorry for dipping in late. Can you all hear me? It's amazing. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, for I can you know me, Brian. I'm pretty the technologically in there, yeah. especially in a snowstorm. So. Dustin, what's up? Yeah, where are you at? Oh, yeah, you guys are getting hit too right now, huh? Yep, that's it's pretty started... much. I'm in. A, I'm actually in Canning City. Yeah. I'm in a really. I'm in a small town. Nice. I, I stay I, down here yonder by the I river. How that is. <laughs> yeah, we we like had the river. snow two or three times today, and it's kind of just hitting the ground and melting, but it's. I'm not a big. F I'm ready for spring. <laughs> the same here. I know. I know. <laughs> but I'd we like haven't to... even started yet. We haven't even got that bad. No, you just wait yeah, until March. That's when it April. like hit. <laughs> March is the worst. You right. ever get those big ones? Mm hmm. You never know. I always think the weatherman's on crack or something. Where? He's like, it's going to be hot and it snows. <laughs> But I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, they always be, lie. Yeah, you got to be on crack. Like, I, I wonder if they just do those, like the taunt us. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah, lay out. Let's see. I can see your ghost. My network is struggling. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, I guess your soul My would be white. My network is struggling, it says. Okay. Hi. Okay. So, all right. No. My network is still struggling. <laughs> That's a theme for today. Can you see me now, B? I, right, I see you, a white days. You're struggling, bro. <laughs> I see a white aura. Some days. <laughs> your disembodied spirit. Your spirit with us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. I don't know yes. what else to tell you. Yeah, your are you spirit a, Are you a snowbird? I don't think so. Are you a snowbird? Is that your spirit <laughs> not animal? That, not as far as I know. <laughs> so what do you do down in Canyon City? <laughs> yeah, you snowed out. He's in a blizzard. I'm in my slippers. Oh, okay, so, so it's a smaller town, but I actually stay at, at my house a lot, but there's a lot of yeah. cool thrift shops. I don't know if you guys like thrifting, but I'm a thrift whore. I'm not going to lie. I like to, like, go pop tag. There's some cool things. So, no, yeah, I, work I love it. I at a it. thrift store. I do? I work at so Sharing. I'll go up there and, like, check it out. I haven't been up to the one in Salida, so. I like the thrift shop, so there's thrift shops. There's a lot, a lot of art. If you stand aside a lot, you actually just kind of work on projects. If you are into working at the DOC, you might do that. Um, I grew up with a father that worked for the Fed, so I jumped as far as I could away from that. So you will not see me being that. But I mean, Fremont County is more something in the summer. You know, we are like a rafting town. There's cycling, like a bicycle, a lot of cool things to do if you're outdoorsy. So if you like to stay active, a lot to do. During the winter, uh, you right. kind of have to go if you're a ski rat. You just go up to the slopes. There's not much to do in the winter, but just chill and enjoy it. But the river walk is always open. It's always free to full. So there's something you can find something to do. But if anybody wants the idea to make money in this town, I beg mm. somebody to open up like a 24 hour coffee house. Yeah. Like just something to do like after hours. That's what we're, we're, we are lacking in nightlife. I mean, unless you like the bars and the bars are kind of okay. We have some good ones with good cocktails, but if you're looking for more stuff to do, after hours, it's nothing. It's dead. So, if there's any business adventurers out there, come down here and open up something after 8 p.m. You would make a lot of money. It, that's what we need. But it's, it's fun a, to look. It's pretty. That's how I mean, it is. It's, it's I just think like the light night, kind of like, uh, like hot dogs Go ahead. or hamburger sort of stand, you know, like a cart. That just that's how it is in Salida. Like, like 9 o'clock until 1 yeah. o'clock. Yeah. You can make yep. a fucking fortune on that, you know. If, uh, if people are hungry and the bars are s gross or yep. the fronts are closed. Absolutely. And so, you know, you either get bar fare mm. by a drunk cook yep. after 9 o'clock or all the restaurants are closed. So I, I think in our <laughs> town, it would be yeah. it'd be pretty sweet to have like mm -hmm. a dude rolling around, yeah. dinging a bell like an ice cream truck, being like, hot dogs are coming, you know, and he just grills up. But I don't think they give out food permits like that around here because it makes sense. Things that they... I mean, they those food permits suck. Like, you have to be pre-packaged. I noticed that they, like, if you're, like, already packaged, they can, the vendors can be easily do it. But they do give those, like, food truck vendors a hard time. Like, the license and all kinds of things that you have to carry. But I would agree yeah. with that. I would love a hot dog if I'm, like, out and about. 
especially if the person has sauerkraut or something ready. If they have the sauerkraut and the mustards on the side, it's game, it's just, dude. Like, it's I over. mean, a beer around here costs seven <laughs> They're bucks. taking my minimum. money. Like, six, I guess. And if you can get, like, two hot dogs or a hamburger and a hot dog, yeah, right? You're, you're fed, you're full. Eight eight dollars. Wow. I think the law should mm-hmm. support it because there's going to be less dumbasses. You know? <laughs> yeah, so... W- what do you guys do in Salida? What, what is there to do on the nightlife there? Is there like a pop-in bar that people go to? Is there a right place that has the best cocktails? Like, does anybody know how to make an old-fashioned there? You know? <laughs> like, what do y'all, what do y'all do? Yeah, yeah, they do, but uh, we, yeah. we we got our own little spot. Like yeah, I love well, I wish, you could, I wish my so camera worked. Studio is a little this. Prime splatter place. It's a prime spot. We play and we paint. My camera doesn't work, and here I am standing around showing you my studio when I have. <laughs> but you're standing around the art. <laughs> no, I'm gonna be curious. I'll be like, somebody send me pictures. You'll have to send it to Brian and be like, hey, yep. send me pictures of it. When when you come, bring a set of painting clothes. You better be for real, man. You better be for real because we'll I'm game. Paint at you and... I'll I'll bring the whole zip up like. I'll be I'll be serious about oh, it. Oh, we will. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna be serious. I'll even bring a hair tie. Yeah, the whole it's floor. Either, so it's, it's, it's either that. I haven't or tried that. Day. I saw this one. Ten years of paint just hitting, put yourself floor, on hitting the people and hitting the windows and hitting the walls, and sometimes it's actually pretty fascinating. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I bet you. Yeah, it's cool. Know. Have you seen people play Twister on with we paint? We tied like, paint that's bottles. Fun, Twister and paint. I've seen a couple of people pour like the colors of, wow. you know, tempura paint, something to play with, like acrylic. Twister They're not always paint. the best, but yeah, twister paint. You gotta look it up. Oh, you we do? see you. Well, we see, we oh, we see, see you. Face. I don't, I, I don't see my face, but I see your face. <laughs> well, <laughs> did we speak too soon? Yeah, barely. Oh, we stuck too soon. Now you're all pixeled. That's awesome. Well, I'm gonna have to come up for sure. I'm, this is technology. It's those baby. old buildings. If you're in you like the light with all the brick, there's old yeah. buildings sometimes. So I'll show you, you can't this get weird... any cell phone service no matter what. Yeah, I'm surprised I have it in my house. My house place. is built old. I had an issue with Let's CDs last night. That's why there's CDs on the ground. And then there's, it's right on the corner. There's some windows. There's some, there's some doors. There's some stadium seats. And Let's see. No. Can you see it, Brian? Oh, really? I can't see yeah, it yet. I see your face, though. No, I can't see it, but I can see oh, it. Oh, I see you're lucky. In my mind. Well, be patient. Well, it's only what. Yeah, I want to come up there. That'd be so much fun. I'm like, uh, if not, sometimes. Sometimes you can get there under an hour. Sometimes it's an hour and 10 minutes. Just a pain. Yeah, well, <laughs> okay, we'll see you in drive. drive. The way she yeah. drives is about I got that, 45 I got minutes. That, I got that 3.5 liter tiny mm-hmm. car. But it's not good in the snow. It's like, you might as well have a Camaro. It just, it is not like it. I got stuck in spring the other night in a big snowstorm. And I literally could not get off. It was like this much of a lip. I'm talking yeah. two main shoes. And my car could not reverse and back up onto the concrete. So it's a rear... Wheel drive car. <laughs> yeah, it, a lightweight ice rear wheel drive. It does in not the like the beat. I, it doesn't like Who cold. talked you into that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so hear me out. I got a good deal on it. It's an infinity. It's super fast. It's fun. It's comfortable to drive. But I'm upgrading. I'm still in one of my other cars and I'm going to join the infinity. Jeep life, I guess, this year. I found this really sweet. My grandpa, I shouldn't say find it. My grandpa has a really sweet Jeep in his garage right now that he's getting rid of to sell. And I think my name's on it. I'm going to have to do it. I'm, I have to. It's a Jeep Wrangler. Like, it's one of the old school ones for 95, 80,000 miles on, on it. Brand new engine. And it was like the Rio Grande. So it's the same ones they use in Jurassic Park. So I'm like, oh man, I love Jurassic Park. I want a Jurassic Park Jeep. So I'm working for it. I think I'm enjoying the club. So I'm gonna have to turn it. I can't do those little cars anymore. I, I'm too, I'm too yeah. ornery. I can't, I can't sit still too much. No, they want you... me to like play in the mountains in these little sports <laughs> cars. Uh-uh, doesn't work for me. They're pretty, it's like Anna Kornikova. No, my <laughs> friend has an infinity. Yeah. 
It's like Anne Kornikova. Yeah. Your friend has friend one too? Has like, do they complain about it and hate life? Or are they happy? He, he said he called me one time. He called me one time. He goes, I got stuck on a rock in the parking lot. He <laughs> helped me out. <laughs> that's, that's out that's by infinity a, like, a for rock. you. But I'm telling you, He's that's infinity LA. for you. I took it up to being evicted, though. Yeah. I went up 10,000 feet this summer. And uh, I had the power to get up. Like, it, don't, I, I'll get it up there. But on the way down, I was shaking it so much that I popped my, my air conditioner hose. Like, it's not meant to shake like that, and I damaged my ball joint. So, oh, I mean, it was man. worth it. I don't regret the trip. But the price to replace anything on the Infinities are like, uh, uh, might as well have a BMW. They like to take your money. I hate it when I... I hate it that when they buy damaged joint. But Colorado is like... Gosh, Colorado is like potholes. Well, like any road in this state, you'll get ball <laughs> joint problems. It, it's like when you drive in 70 miles an hour and you accidentally hit a pothole and you're like, shit, dude, there goes my ball joint. Can you guys hear me Ball again? joints are expensive. I don't know. Am I <laughs> back in here? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I'm talking cars on your so, podcast. But I heard, I, so I was <laughs> yeah. driving through Denver in this big, stupid black car. We can hear you. We can a hear hard you. Day, and I hit one of these ruts and it broke my front right tire ball joint or whatever, the bearing there. And so I had to drive down I-70 with my yeah. right wheel wobbling during a snowstorm on a bad day. It, it, it made it home. You better carry some stage yeah, yeah. in your car, some Palo Santo, man. <laughs> Have one of those bad days, like, get, get light, shit out of light your stage up in the car. Right. Bless your area. Get out of here. <laughs> no negativity. Like, get that shit gone. It's not allowed. I always used to do it because back in the day, I used to be ornery and have like pot in my car when I was like young in my 20s. So we always had like some kind of stage. Cover the smell of just it. Just to counter react the smell of the <laughs> cannabis. Now that it's not, you well, you try to, it's like stage covered pot. <laughs> right. It's the same shit. <laughs> we used to think it would cover it, yeah, but I think it was I think just they, a placebo. I, I think they're onto it. Yeah. Why are you this always used stage to. in your car? Yeah, these days, yeah. Yeah, why do you do that? Like these days, I I don't drive like that anymore. You know, now that they made everything legal, you don't do that stuff anymore. It's you, hey, he followed the amendment. Leave forty five minutes. Don't smoke in your car. Blah 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 blah. Don't hold your gun. <laughs> no wild left shit. All all these new rules. So the can't don't be crazy. hold your gun <laughs> is a new is a, is a new but law. It's funny. I, no, okay, so say if you smoke weed, you can't have your gun. So you know how you're mm -hmm. allowed to have, like, a concealed carry? If you have a concealed carry, you can't if you have your medical license anymore. Wait a then minute, if you, you have a medical like, license, you, you cannot say have you smoke pot that day. a closed carry? I didn't know that. Concealed, yeah. no. Mm -mm, you can't have... No, that's why I don't have one of those. I, I'm one of those people, but I like you, my gun. You can't. Like... Guns are cool. You gotta have yeah, be able to conceal no, that. You can have your gun I, in I your car concealed. I don't get the the, the you can ability for yeah. people to be all right. You, you can have a you, a, a, a you carry of whiskey at the you bar with an open carry or a closed carry, but you can't smoke a little herb because most people I know that are smoking a little herb are kind of the peacemakers. Yeah, true. I mean, you don't really see a lot of issues with the marijuana there. People don't get all crazy. No, I I found it to be a weird law. So it's all, if you read Amendment 64, your mind will get blown. You're like, what the heck? Really? Like, how do they know that it's 45 minutes? Like, you have, like, <laughs> it's like you go up to somebody and be like, what time, what time was it that <laughs> you decided to soak your pot? <laughs> oh, okay. It, it's kind of like a, yeah, it's kind of one of those, like, I call it the dumbass laws. It's like someone, some dumbass had to just go in there and make it a law. You know, like, mm -hmm. we, they had to do something. But I like it. Colorado, Colorado's crazy like that. So got, 505, you know, 45 minutes yeah, after 420, like change, you can Change drive. your mind a lot. All right. For all the stoners out there, there you go, the yes. safety minute so is you partaking, you know? <laughs> I always thought it was funny because, you know, the stoners are going to do it anyway. You don't even know they're stoned. They've noticed that, like, the people that don't smoke pot, like, they're always the ones smoking weed, you know? You, you think that they're stoned on the days that they're not. And you're like, what's wrong with you, dude? Do you, you stone? I'm not stone. I'm still getting today. And you're like, wow, that's crazy. You know, <laughs> like you seem really high. <laughs> you know, it's like you never know. 
They're, they're just like that. Some people are just like perma, perma, perma herb, did they call it? Perma herb. Perma stoned. Perma herb. Like, why? So what are, you, what are you guys doing for the rest of the afternoon? You guys have big things? You getting dinner somewhere? Are you um, being ornery? I, 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 I can see two minutes into the future. Well, we're probably going to drink a few beers. Two minutes. That's pretty good, though. Most people only have, like, 30 seconds. Brian, speaking of all the stoner stuff. What about you, Brian? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> what? He went all dead air. He was probably speaking smoking. Speaking of all the stoner stuff. Yeah. Aspen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? Guess what? I'm all leaning in like I have to see. <laughs> I was in, I was in Vogue. I was in. I was in Vogue Bambini. No when way. I was like eight. Do you have the, do you get, get to keep a, uh, what do you yeah. call it? The magazine or do you have like a cover of it? Oh, that's so cool, dude. You I, gotta keep that on yeah. your wall. That's hard to do. I, I was this, this close, this close to getting the cover, but I cried. You were eight, and man. I what else do you do when you were And I did not oh, like see. it. I quit. It's hard. Yeah, man, when you're a child, when you're a child, it's really hard to, like, uh, do entertainment. It's hard. I mean, gosh, I remember being on the stage since I was four or three years old. I don't know any difference. I, like, I was raised on entertainment. Wow. That's what I wanted. So I don't know fear. I get scared of singing. I was karaoke all night, but you get, you want to be scared. Oof. Really? Throw a microphone in my hand, man. I could pull another well ballgame. Yeah, that's my oh. fear right there. He's just singing. I used to sing in church. That's they like getting me up in front of people to sing. It might take a couple shots of whiskey and a karaoke microphone, but other than that, yeah. Well, so uh, so I have I an know. idea for you. Fear. We're looking for a female soul, voice in the man. band that Brian and I are well, building, and oh it's boy. only forty-five <laughs> minutes away from you. And we we've yeah. set up a few gigs. We got a drummer. We got a Brian. We got a pseudo bass guitar. Oh yeah. Um, I know a guy that shakes a tambourine occasionally, and we need a female voice. So maybe you should break that fear and just come join this band. Oh shoot! I might have to like. Yeah. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna have to come up there one night and we'll jam and yep. like test it out. I would have to say my voice. I'm kind of like a natural. Like I yeah. have this kind of like not a raspy voice, but kind of a deep voice for chick. So my. My voice is kind of yeah, 40s, it's, it's like kind of jazzy. It's, very, um, yeah, it's not like a high pitch. It's kind of moody. So That's I can, perfect. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. yeah. so when I sing, perfect. when I sing, it's kind of jazzy. You know, you would if you didn't know that I was a white girl, you might think I might be black. Mm -hmm. You know, you never know. I yep. have some soul in there. <laughs> but I've never been able to sing higher. I used mm -hmm. to be able to try, but it's just like, can't, can't sing too high. I'm like stuck in this tone. Well, weather permitting, before Christmas, you come up and I will introduce you to the greatest old fashioned you've ever had. And we can go out to Moonlight Pizza and then we'll go over there. And oh, we'll you know, that might actually work because I get some time off. Like, see what happens. Around the Maybe. 20th, I have, I have some time off. So it's like, I think it's I'll like 21st, 22nd. I have some time off. Yeah, man, I'm gonna put it down. I'll put that. Oh, you guys are calling me out. Well, That's I mean, do it. Is okay. it, isn't life right now about breaking some fear barriers do and it. shit? I mean, yep. you, you said you're afraid to sing. You know, I mean, what's oh, yeah. the worst case scenario? That's true. Yeah, you guys are pulling my fear. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. I mean, I don't care. I'm not afraid to get laughed at. I'm not afraid to get laughed at. Or get, I mean, gosh, I'm a model and actress. They like make fun of you all the time. No, you don't laugh. Like digging. I mean, right. I'll take the challenge. Yeah, I, Deal. I like so to. Today I might is have to. December 12th. Yeah, I might have to be that laugh. person December outside. December 20th is one week away. <laughs> so you're talking sometime between next Wednesday and next Saturday. Yeah, I know I have some time off between before Christmas Eve. I do have a gap of a few days that I get to myself. I, I've called on my calendar. Yeah. I, I read that calendar every morning. So I'm like, do I have life? Well, yeah. Little, get, you know? <laughs> get up here. Shoot him right. Yeah, I'm going to have to take you guys up on that challenge. So the the 20th. You'll have to tell me what the weather's like because like I'm a pansy. There. Yeah, the 20th. So I, I like to like, pack a lot of jackets. I'm one of those people that have like no clothes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cold. Sometimes. Weather permitting. 
But the twentieth, I have off, and the third. And the yeah, 21st, weather permitted. So, yeah. The stupid infinity I have. I mean, it's stupid. I just don't want to call it stupid. I have to go probably apologize. I'm like, dear, not mm-hmm. it right now. Outside, I'll have to apologize to my girl for calling her stupid. But dude, she needs she needs these shoes or something, man. She needs to get gut. I mean, we're talking two inches, and I couldn't pop over that shit. Come on, that was so horrible. Three point five <laughs> meters doesn't make. Well, you can make you a lot move. of noise trying to move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. Bro, I was like staying in the Broadmoor area and it was like at eight o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to get to the studio to work with my model. My cousin's sleeping, his girlfriend's sleeping. Everybody's all sleeping like a baby. I go outside and I'm gonna start my car, clean it off. It's all nice. And I pop it in the reverse and I go, ear, ear, ear. I took the floor mat down, put it behind the tires, dude. I was trying everything. I took my like How sunshade. Get- I was sick. I-, I got the tire to kind of move with right. the mat, you know? But what happened is, is when I popped up, it, it rolled back forward, and then I went all the way off the lip, and then it just got stuck. So then I was just sitting Waiting there for it to melt <laughs> on ice, just keep kicking. I mean, it was so terrible. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do cat litter though. My grandpa was like, "Why don't you have cat litter in your car?" And I was like, "Yeah, well, why grandpa's don't I have cat right, litter man. In my car? Cat litter you know, is good in the cat garage. Is like a savior. Yeah, because there with dad. like if you spill oil in your garage, you got some cat yeah, litter. Yeah, so he's like, there's some cat litter in yeah. your car." Yep, yeah, Grandpa's knowledge is always pretty all right, man. Soak it up. It, and also, right. it has traction. Dude, I'm telling you, if the grandpa told me to get cat litter in the car, I'm going to have to put the cat litter in the car. Because he's like, at least if you get stuck, you can throw it down, it'll pull some traction. And I was like, dang, Grandpa, that night. Yeah. Gonna go. I don't have a cat, but I'll go buy a cat litter and just throw it in the car. Or if you find a stray cat. Yeah. I could keep you might it. Find a stray cat. I have a problem. I would, like, pick up. I don't, like, I'm not picking up stray animals anymore but man i can't have i can't meet children they're like children you don't leave sure. them behind but when you work all the time like i do i have a stuffed cat i i literally have a cat named salem that i have that i really want a black cat that i have this black cat named salem that looks just like a real cat in my house because i can't have a real cat so th- that's my life right now so i'll buy the cat litter for the there stuffy there you go <laughs> well like it's stuff so you can't have animals do Landlord, the yeah, traveling. you can come visit my cat. You have a cat, Ryan does. Wow, yeah, yeah, see, come visit I, my like, cat. I have yeah, issues there. I love cats, I like to like, feel like you. I love to tease them too. Like, I'm one of those people that I want to slap mm-hmm. off the cat. Like, I'm like, let's go. Yeah. I love cats, they're fun. Yeah, you know, what's your cat's you name? Yeah, I, I like to babysit her. I borrow you. my friend's cat. Hit. Brian, did you What's say your, your cat's name was El Gato? Don Vato. Yeah. Don Gato. Gato. Don, Don Gato. Gato. The, the cat, or what does that mean? Yeah, I, I, none of that. Or snake. These people have these huge That's pythons. Insane. Like, what are you doing, sleep? dude? Hey, Brian, <laughs> put a picture of a Savannah cat on this podcast because I have no clue what it looks like. Oh, you have to see this. It's like. It's my oh, okay. dream since I was like 15. I was going to have this cat, but I have to be, make sure I'm home and not on the road. They're pretty high maintenance. They like, they like a lot of attention. They need love. They're kind of like bingo cats. They like to play a lot. It's my goal. I know people that breed them too. So I think they're around Holy three to $4,000, wow. maybe more a cat. Dude, mm-hmm. it's just like yeah. this cat is like the size of some dog. Oh, so it's so. like a Mr. Cat. Yeah, the okay. cat. Mr. Cat. I want one of those Savannah cats. You know those ones that like to eat like raw chicken? I feel like when I make it in life, I'm going to have this whole room to dedicate for all those years that I couldn't have an animal. Don't buy a, don't buy My a, cat a, loves a turkey. orangutan or a tiger. Those are two yeah. bad things for owners to have. Most orangutans kill their owners and most tigers wound their own. No. So. There you They're go. just like an upgraded Bengal cat. I'd, yeah. I'd avoid that. I don't know why anybody would have a ring pain. I do know that those are some violent creatures. I don't think I would ever be able to play with that. But I know these Savannah cats can get kind of savage too. I've seen how big their paws are and their teeth. And I'm just like, I'm going to just feel like exotic things. So if I'm going to do something like buy a cat, then it have to be like Savannah cat. Definitely not a lion, not a tiger. A lynx or like a mountain lion sort of thing. Big old teeth. Oh, yeah, it's about, I would say it's about the size of, like, not really a mountain lion, that's a little mm. big, but kind of like a bobcat. They, they can be about the same size as a bobcat. 
in the way they in the way they meow. There we go. Yeah, that's the Savannah cat right there. They're so tall. Okay, the oh, Savannah wow. cat. Okay, cool. Fucking there cool. They're... Hell yeah. Cool. So they're just kind of like. <laughs> Dude, you could walk them like a dog, too. Because, you know, dogs are really sweet. But dogs are amazing. <laughs> but I want a cat. Like, I want to feel like the Egyptian a dog cat walking around with dog. my little cat. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Yeah, I'm yeah, serious. It's... And they eat. They On eat our a last lot. podcast, we had a temple of the Egyptian <laughs> yes, people true. worshiping cats. In the no way. They, they, they would understand. They would understand the... the yeah. Like, so I'm not that crazy into that. I mean, I like the Egyptian stuff, but like... You should watch yeah. some of Brian's past podcasts. I need to hilarious. go back on that. I would love to see that. I'm going to have to yes. now, because especially since you mentioned that. The Egyptians that. would tell time by looking in a cat's eyes. Well, yeah. that's, that's kind of creepy. You ever look into they a cat's eyes? They would look at a cat's here? eyes without time. Yeah, because this people would be a little bit bigger than this one, because mm -hmm. the sun's over here. And then they go like that, and then they would have to have the cat stare straight ahead. And so no they always way. have a cat to look at to tell the time. All right, you got you got me. Cut. I'm gonna have so to. So they do always that have now. to worship the cat and make them stand still. Uh, y'all, I'm gonna have to cut out. I this look forward to being good. in person. Well, I'm gonna come up yeah. and paint. Yeah, thanks. Nice. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll take you guys up on that challenge. I, I'm sure I can make time for new. Send her. Your email and all, right. all that shit. Oh, and, nice uh, meeting you. Yeah, in the next eight days. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. You'll come throw some paint around and listen to some music, and it'd be awesome. All right. <laughs> I'll find my little jumpsuit. I have to be all status about that, like the full yeah, eye light I, on, I, you know? I, I only wear painted <laughs> clothes, to play with. so I, every yeah, piece of material up. I own is painted. Yeah. That's awesome. I have stuff that I have in my closet that's strictly for that. Like that right. either get bleach on it or paint. Just for that mm -hmm. reason. Yep, exactly. Not true. Not a true artist <laughs> unless you have one of those paintings, dude. All right, y'all. Drive <laughs> safe. Keep it between the lines. Okay. Bye well, for now. Talk to you later. Adios. Later. See you. Later. Fun. They should love that. Could never hang up. Fun like when I'm always trying to tap my earbud. I'm like, oh, you hang up. No, you hang up. Nobody can ever hang up because you're freehand. Well, I'm definitely gonna have to come up there and do that. Yeah. Keep on playing with my table clock here. Serious. Curious. Well, I, do it. I'll I'll put it down there. I mean, I like to try new things. I like new challenges. So, plus I like to get out. I mean, I love Canyon. I love my hometown. Good. But I like to. I haven't been to Slide in a while. It's been a few months. I enjoy it. It's been since. Uh, you know, before yeah, get down here. Before the summer ended, because I had to drive when I go through Bina Vista, I always like to go through Salida. Just says it's just fun to hit Salida first and then come over to Bina Vista. So I'll come up. I'll take it. I'd like yeah, to hear you your music too. Thursday, I'd like to see you perform. Then. Haven't been able to come to any of your shows. But oh yeah. So if you have that going on every I'll play yeah, for you. Yeah, it's I'll cool. Learn that song. It's a nice song. I'll just Do play it. for you. Like a little concert. Are you, if we paint, you're going to have to paint with me, too. Like, we're going to have to do that. Oh, I will, yeah. Definitely. I'm just, I'm just excited you had me if on If you come on Thursday, Moonlight has two for one. Really? Huh. I'm excited to uh, finally talk to you. Yeah, well, thanks. I've been trying to get you on for, like, five years, so. I know. Boy. Here I am, finally. Yeah. I know, when you're like, do you actually have time? I was like, dude, I actually I have time. I have time. I <laughs> have if I have time, I'll do, like, we'll try anything Perfect. new or, like, help people out. Like, it's, like, time's easy for me to make. You just have to move things around. No. Priorities, I guess. Everybody has time. You just have to have priorities. Push it away. Take it. I, I always yeah. can make time. Come on. Well, I'll come Thursday. up there. Next Thursday, the 21st. Okay. Come on up. Oh, yeah, it is. I actually will we probably have time. two for one margaritas at Moonlight. Mm-hmm. Then I'll take you to the best old fashioned you ever had. Deal. Homemade. Then we'll go paint and play. I'm down for that. I always park my car because I'm one of those people I don't like. Obviously, don't drink and drive. I'm All one right. of those people that's like, I don't. So I'll drink and walk. 
No, yeah, you, it's all in walking yeah, distance. Yeah, I'm down for that. It's all. I'm one of those people. Distance. I'm like, so I know a lot of people like will drink and like even with a one. I have not even a. I don't even do one and drive. I'm one of those lightweight that I uh, prefer. Prefer mm-hmm. to like go have fun for a few hours, park the car kind of person. So I'm down. And if I had a cocktail, I'd stick around yeah. for a while just to hang out and sober up, as they call it. Yeah, it's all it's all downtown. It's How all cool. downtown. Everything's cool. You can walk and uh, come for lunch at moonlight, and then we'll have one cocktail. And Deal. Then start I'm jamming. down. I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted. I'll I'll stalk you on your your little right. face or booker. <laughs> cool. Well. Thank you for having awesome. me on today. I, I appreciate you. That was really nice of you My to pleasure. invite me. Yes. I'm gonna... was... hey, every... <laughs> I want to have you back. Have you back. Yes. Again and again. And mm-hmm. leave us with one word of advice. What's that? We need yes. one word of advice. Be... <laughs> Salida. For the whole of Salida, we need one word of advice. One word of advice. For the whole... Later, let's see. Never go to bed angry for one. This is good advice. But never, ever, ever leave on the negative note. Even if it's just your worst enemy, your mother, your brother, your best friend. The only thing I would do for advice is just there's differences, but tomorrow's not promised. So my advice to people is just, just like don't don't keep hate in your heart. Don't keep don't p- keep that negativity. Like we can forgiveness is a big thing. Forgive yourself, especially forgive yourself. So never go to bed angry. Never be angry. Just like let it be. It's going to eat you up. So that's my advice for people because I've lost so many people. A lot of friends have passed away. I've lost like majority of my friends have either committed suicide or have had alcohol problems or drugs. Like, I mean, a lot of my friends have passed away. And um, some of them I wish I could have just said sorry to. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, you don't need to be sorry. So angry in your heart will be regret for the rest of your life. So just don't be angry. Just let it go. Even if somebody pisses you off, just let it go. It's only temporary. They're feelings. They're not facts. They're just feelings. So that's my advice. Like that's my word of advice for the holidays. Just don't just that's get the beautiful. anger out of your heart. Like it's it it will be better off. Keep your vibrations up. Doesn't matter what religion you are, if no religion, like that that's a common human thing to do. Just Get the anger out. They're just feelings. They don't mean anything. It doesn't mean shit. And so that's that's what my advice is because life is too short. Okay. You never know. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Well, I love you guys. For whoever's listening, thank you for taking time today. Yeah, and I'm going to come paint. We love you. you. You got a wild hit. You put fire in my ass. I'll have to go. <laughs> come on down. Yeah, Merry Christmas yeah. or Happy Holidays for whatever y'all like celebrate or tradition. Just have a joyous, joyous time. Yeah. Compliments yes. of the season. Just be my happy. Friend. I love you Goodbye. too. Thank you for we love you. having me. Let's talk again soon. Here's my peace out, guys. <laughs> Anytime, always.